Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys. Taurus, we have Venus going into your sign, so major possibilities for love and romance here. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. One more. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here is the chariot, feeling very empowered. You're looking or going towards the goals and aspirations, the life that you want. I see you guys very determined. The chariot is quick movement as well as very quick changes coming through. You're going to be experiencing this momentum by the end of this month. Now, the next card that represents your person or partner of interest is a four of swords. So there may be some type of uh, distancing, some type of pulling away, perhaps not communicating in the present. Um, this is a person that needs a lot of healing or that needs to accept certain lessons that they have refused to learn in the past. The relationship dynamic is the king of cups. So there is still love there. Um, if you're dealing with the person from the past, like there was a breakup or some type of separation or temporary pulling away, I do see them constantly thinking of you. There is still love there and it is prominent. Um, however, with the chariot card, this is quick momentum for you. So I feel that for some of you guys, you could have outgrown the situation or this relationship or you've outgrown this person. So it's almost like the feeling or the sense of like you are wanting to basically take over the world you're focused you're determined this person didn't really help you grow didn't really help you feed your motivation so i feel that you've outgrown the situation now the advice here is the hierophant and this is your card taurus so i feel that you're very much in control you're very much knowing knowing the path that you're taking because it's taking you towards a destination that you've been wanting to achieve for a very long time for some of you guys this could also represent um, coming to terms with, like I said, the, the understanding that you've outgrown a situation or a person that you were dealing with in the past. The Hierophant does speak about commitment, but I feel very strongly that it's not coming from the person that you were dealing with or have been dealing with in the past because the chariot is quick movement. This is you being in control, being empowered. This is like uh, pretty much the chariot is being directed through will there is no change there's no links here it's through your own will so again i feel that you're coming into your own taurus and you will be aligning yourself to a person that is much more better suited for you someone that is loyal someone that is trustworthy and ultimately someone that is going to want commitment the way you want it now your next card here is the six of wands and this is the these uh not the desire sorry this is the likely outcome so i feel that the more in control and the more in power that you are right now like don't hesitate about things that are happening around you if you were dealing with the person and there's been distancing embrace that fucking distancing don't try to chase the person because what they're telling you right now you're going through this cycle of transformation of knowing that you're the only person that is standing in your own way of achieving or maintaining the happiness that you deserve, that you know you deserve. So what they're telling you here is, again, don't try to resist these changes that are happening. It's like astrologically, the planets are aligning to assist you, to give you that push, that momentum that you've been needing to take you to the next phase of your life where you're going to be fully able to embrace not only a long-term committed relationship, but the success and the victory that you've been um, that you've been deserving. I feel that you've put up with a lot in previous relationships, and what they're telling you is like now is the time for other people to prove to you their worthiness and that they are worthy enough to have for you to have them in or introduce them in your life. So. Uh, for those of you guys that are single, I do see commitment coming through for you guys. Uh, you may be dealing, by the end of this month, beginning of May, you may be dealing with a cancer. You may be dealing with fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Leo type of energy. You, If you were dealing with the person from the past that was a water energy, you need to let that go. Now, your card here is maybe. 
So the potential to hap to happiness is there. The potential to find your soulmate, find the person that is meant to be in your life is there. You're the only one that de decides and determines that. Stop settling, Taurus. Stop settling. Stop entertaining the past. Stop allowing people from the past to keep you in, you know, they go ghosting you or they completely disconnect or no longer communicate and all of a sudden they pop up again. Let that shit go. All right? Okay, my lovelies. I hope that this gives you some type of insight, some type of guidance. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.